break up the opposition of the insider versus Lapis. I'm the insider, and well, Lapis is back after taking a week off. Welcome back to the program. Uh, thank you for having Lapis. me back. I'd like to thank the commissioner for doing an excellent job in my absence. Yeah, and uh, the commissioner always does an excellent job. And we're also back in our regular FHL studios yes. after an absence of uh, three three weeks. No, two weeks. Two weeks. We took two weeks off. Two weeks off. We're back in a nice and cozy FHL studios. So this weekend is the beginning of uh, the FHL playoffs. Right. It was an interesting uh, race in the even division. Yeah. In between the Sharks and uh, the Rangers. Sharks, well, they had control of it and, and they yeah. lost the last four games. And well, they finished second place, half a game behind, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we uh, dropped the ball. Uh, we had some injuries, some key injuries to Alfredson and uh, Spot Post uh, Olin. And uh, some players just didn't uh, step up and uh, it cost us in the end. But uh, second place finish is not bad and we're looking forward to do well in the playoffs. And hopefully, I think Olu came back yeah. from his injury. But I benched him this week because I was unaware that he was coming back. Okay, so it's his punishment for getting injured. Pretty much. Yeah. And uh, Alfred Simmons Vato should be coming back uh, sooner than later, hopefully, for the Sharks. And the other division, the, the winner was uh, the, Canucks. the Canucks. So the Canucks, uh, how many years have they uh, finished first? Uh, I don't know, but uh, they seem to have a dynasty going on. Uh, the Mortal brothers uh, draft well and they manage their team very well. They, they Of course, they give you uh, ridiculous trade offers, but uh, I guess some people take the bait and that's why they're, uh, they're on top. Yeah, okay. So, um, that is it. That's what we're going to do with the playoffs. Right, yeah, right. The playoff races that uh, ended up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open the inside versus Lapis Mailbag and after that we're going to do our picks and we'll tell you who will win in the round one games. You've got mail. You've got mail, baby, yeah. Three simple words. You've got mail. Woohoo! Like every week we get uh, hundreds and sometimes even thousands of questions from all millions. our viewers, sometimes even millions of uh, questions every week. And it wasn't any different this week. Uh, we've got a question and uh, Lapis, what is it? Yes, this week's question comes from uh, Jocelyn Reed from Dorval, Quebec. And Jocelyn asks, uh, Dear Insider vs. Lapis, Every week the Insider says that his picks are better than Lapis, but upon reviewing the records, you have the same record. What's up with that? Well, should I answer that or should you? Well, you can begin. Well, Jocelyn, the thing is, uh, our friend here, the Insider, is very arrogant and he thinks that he's better than I mean everything. So he's just trying to advertise the fact that he's better at me at making picks, but he's not. That's, it's just, it is false advertising. Therefore, we are equally as bad as making our predictions. Well, uh, Justin, first of all, thanks for uh, watching the show, and uh, we hope you keep on watching till the end of the season. But what else can I say? But my picks are definitely better than uh, Lapis. What, what you don't know is that before the shows begin, I actually give Lapis uh, his picks or else he'd be going 0 and 8 every week on a weekly basis and he'll get everything wrong. So those couple of games that he gets right, they're thanks to the insider. Whatever, that's that's not true, but uh, you you have both said the story, now you believe who you want to believe. Speaking of the records of the picks, right. we're going to take a look now uh, at our picks of last week. And keep in mind, when you see Lapas's record for last week, he didn't do his picks. It was actually yeah. the commissioner who made his picks. And he had the lapis, and now lapis has the lead. So let's take a look at it right now. Game lead on uh, the picks. He has 34, right? And I have 30. Thanks to the commissioner. Yeah, so good job, uh, Mr. Lapis, uh, last week on your picks. Thank you. All right, so let's do our playoff uh, predictions for uh, this week. Nordiques versus Panthers. The Panthers are favored by nine and a half points. <laughs> I'll, I'll go for the Nordiques. I'll take the Nordiques to cover as well. Oilers versus Flames. Oilers are favored by eight, eight and a half points. <laughs> Flames. I'll take the Oilers to win, but Flames to cover as well. Expos versus Hustlers. Hustlers are favored by two and a half points. I'll take the Hustlers. I'll take, you know what, I'll go for the Inbox Special and I'll take the uh, 
the Expos. Right. Another reason why he has a better record, I actually take risks. Preds versus Sharks. The Predators are favored by three and a half points. Yeah, Predators will win easily. The Sharks uh, are going down and uh, that's just it. Okay, so I'll take the Predators as well to win and cover. Leafs versus the best team in the NFL, the Avalanche. The Leafs are favored by uh, half a point. I think the Commissioner's office has smoked some good weed when he, when he said the Predators. This will be Lapis's guarantee of the week. Leafs. That will be guaranteed stupidity because the Avalanche will win that game and cover the spread. Liverpool versus Wings. Wings are favored by three and a half points. Uh, Wings. Liverpool, uh, although they did beat the Sharks last week, uh, haven't been scoring that many points and are struggling as of late. I'll take as well the Wings to uh, win and cover. And then there was two exhibition games I also programmed. Rangers versus Canucks. Canucks favored by half a point. Canucks will win by a gazillion points because Rangers suck and they were lucky that they won a division. I'll take the uh, Canucks because I know for a fact Rangers not set the lineup. And Canadians versus Ducks, Ducks are favored by half a point. Ducks have been on a tear lately, even though a little too little too, little too late. I think the Ducks will take this one easily. I agree with you, I think the Ducks will uh, win. Should we count the last two games on record or just the games that count? Just the games that count. Alright, so just the games that count will count uh, on our records. And uh, we're going to conclude the show right after the break. Back now with uh, the final uh, words, Lapis, you can go first. I'd like to uh, give you my impression of uh, Rangers GM Dick Zutis on FHL uh, draft day. Okay. What? I'm picking 16. Fuck, man. It's fixed. Fuck. You guys fixed it. Why does Stefan get number one pick overall? It's fixed. Fuck. And he was a division. What an idiot. Yeah, but uh, I guess uh, that's what we call uh, Nick Zutis the Ranger Holly. <laughs> He's the FHL Ranger. He's full of Ranger Hall. Yeah, but at the same time, we have to congratulate him. Congratulations, yeah. For winning the division. So even though you're a Ranger, uh, a Ranger, sorry, not a Ranger, a Ranger. A Ranger maybe, and a Ranger. Yeah, maybe we could change his name to that next year. The, the Rangers. The Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not a bad idea. Right. And if that happens, you've got to credit the Inside Words Lab for coming up with uh, that name for the Rangers. The Ranger. So that is our final word. Thanks for watching everybody. Let's love us and the Insider. Enjoy the playoffs and we'll talk to you again next week on the Insider vs. Lapis. That is it. Let's go to the playoffs. The playoffs races that uh, ended up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open the Insider vs. Lapis mailbag and after that we're going to do our picks on the will win in the round one game. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.